Hey, opposing good day everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be our next hockey video, the third and potentially final hockey video for the day in the overall league. That is about the Rangers loaning Vitaly Krotsov and seeming to come to a compromise with Vitaly Krotsov after his October trade request. Since if you look at the quotes that Josh Goldsmith in his article pointed out, um, Vitaly said, I want to thank the Rangers for working with me and appreciate the open and honest conversations we had during this process. While this has been a challenging time for me personally, I believe having the opportunity to return to Tractor and work on my game is the best thing for me right now. My main focus is getting better every day to continue towards my goal of playing hockey for the New York Rangers. So, before it was a trade request in the video that I'm going to link in this that started it all. That's why I wanted to do this video to keep up with the situation. It was a trade request, and then he went back to Russia and was at the tractor game, according to the great Rush Cohen. And it seemed like you weren't going to be able to work it out, as a great person commented on that video. It would be best for both sides to work it out, because Krasov has the potential to be a future lethal star. The size he plays at and the speed he plays at, that's kind of a unicorn level thing. You don't normally see people be able to skate with the wind like he does at his size and also have as lethal of a shot as he does as well. So he's a guy you want to keep around, and it seems like that is going to be what happens now. <clears throat> um, of course, they gave him permission to seek the trade after the club left him off the roster, and there were reports that Chris Drury was a reason why um, Vitaly Krotsov was kind of upset with the organization and what have you not. They drafted him ninth overall in 2018, but then if you look at the message from um, Chris Drury as well, after discussions with Vitaly and his representation, we decided a loan detractor was in the best interest of both him and the organization. We think very highly of Vitaly, and the Rangers development staff will continue to work with him to reach our mutual goal of him someday being a Ranger. So it seems like they, in their discussions, Kratzloff had a peace of mind and got to be able to kind of put peace in his situation with the Rangers. And they came to a compromise that he thinks it's best to stay over there in tractor and keep developing his game in the KHL and the men's league over there. And then coming back, they have the right to bring him back at the end of the KHL season. And then you see what he's able to do for the Rangers. Then when he comes back there and hopefully for Rangers fans and for the Rangers, everything stays peachy keen and everything stays like this, where they seem to be getting along now, Chris Drury and Kratzoff, and he seems to be very appreciative of how much the Rangers actually reached out and talked him through this process after he made that trade request in October, and now they seem to have resolved it, and actually, it seems now, Vitaly Kratzoff, rather than playing for someone disgusting like LA, having him with Byfield, which would have been ridiculous as I talked about before, or getting another full where they don't need in Colorado, it seems like he is going going to be staying in New York, at least for the foreseeable future for now, until his loan is probably done with Tractor, then he comes back to New York, and I have a feeling playing in the KHL, this might honestly be a blessing in disguise for him, because he's very comfortable, his comfortability over there, he's from there, he's very comfortable playing for Tractor, he's already played well over there, <clears throat> this might be a blessing in disguise to really get his game going, that once the KHL season's done, he's going to be kind of clicking on all cylinders from playing in that men's league, come back over here, and kind of be able to hit the ground running for an already obviously good Rangers team to start this season, so I think this could end up kind of being, now the compromise they came to, a good blessing in disguise for both sides, and a very good thing for Kratzloff and his development, and a very good thing for the Rangers, because they're going to get the player in Vitaly Kratzloff after the KHL season, that's going to come into the lineup, pounce, and be ready to play for the New York Rangers, it sounds like at this stature, where only a couple weeks ago, even a week ago, we thought that it would be different, and he would be elsewhere. So this has been a quick reaction to Vitaly Kratzloff getting loaned to the KHL tractor, wanted to keep up with this situation, it's nice to see they came to a resolution and the kid feels like he has a peace of mind because of the way the organization dealt with it after the trade request. So good on the Rangers and good on Chris Drury, who I knocked before for not being able to be maybe as forthright with him before, and that's why he got annoyed. Well, it's good on him to rebound and be able to kind of come to this compromise with him. So stay safe, everyone. This has been Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork. This has been the video on Vitaly Krotsov getting loaned to the KHL. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or on the easy-to-use widget up above. And congratulations, Rangers fans. It seems like you came to a compromise with one of your top prospects. Peace out.